Today we're going to discuss the role of the Eucharistic minister. And so the clergy, the priest, and the deacons are ordinary ministers. In the church's mind, they're the ones that are preferred to distribute the Eucharist, which is why we do that most of the time in our parish. But from time to time, for different reasons, we use extraordinary ministers. Whenever the church uses the word extraordinary, we're of course speaking of the specialness of the people who are involved. But we're also telling ourselves it's outside of the norm. And while it is something that the church allows us to do, we use it only in rare occasions. But it is a very beautiful opportunity for the lay faithful to minister and to take care of people. One of the ways that I speak of oftentimes of the Eucharist is it symbolizes everything we have in our faith. The primacy of grace where God comes to us, he leaves behind the glories of the sanctuary or of heaven to come to the people and the people come to him to receive them. Extraordinary ministers are able to assist us in making sure the people of God are able to receive this most beautiful gift that God has given us, the gift of the Eucharist.